uh, is uh, butter, where uh, we ex where we talk about how things are going on there. Now, butter is says that it is looking to explore opportunities uh, via new products and wants to improve its focus on youth management. Said uh, when in its recent analyst report. Uh, now. We all know about the kind of challenges that Bata is facing. In fact, at one point in time, about three years ago, it was one of those uh, priced stocks to have in your portfolio, but has since come off substantially. But uh, you know, with respect to the latest, we have my colleague Sasha, who's joining us to give us more details with respect to what it has in store going in. Bata has braved ups and downs since 2000, but the brand's legacy held it in good state. But now what it seems is that Bata is struggling to stay relevant in the market. Even the once loyal customers are making a switch to upstart brands like Metro, Asics, and a host of private level uh, entrants in the online space. Now in the past, utility products and affordability helped Bata become the go-to brand, but it's low fashion quotient is averting repeat purchases and hence the growth has been missing. Now, if we look at the last five years, the household footwear retailer has seen its net sales grow a meager 5.6%, which is the slowest compared to its peers, uh, Metro brands and Relaxo footwear. Now, this number is an uh, even bigger disappointment since the brand has been trying to sharpen its image and it's selling more premium brands such as Hush Puppies, often ignoring its own, the Bata. Bata's shares have plummeted 16% over the last six months. Now, while this could be partly because of the inflation-led slowdown in the mass segment, uh, from a long-term lens too, the stock is in red. Uh, it has given a negative return of 3.6% in the last five years uh, versus Metro's 144% return and Relaxo's 94% return. Now, the management has made multiple course correction in terms of brand perception, marketing, distribution, expansion, bringing new products to uh, resonate with the youth and even management churn. But that has not really uh, uh, given a positive return. Analysts believe that Bata is still far from being uh, an aspirational brand. Uh, incremental benefit from the online channel uh, shall be limited given the current portfolio. Similarly, gains from a widened wholesale channel would be limited as it is a value-driven channel, which is, which, um, you know, which is a category where Bata lacks. Overall, it is clear that Bata is facing an uphill task uh, against the competition. However, with the right adjustments and a focused approach, there is still hope, according to some analysts, for the brand to regain its hold in the market and appeal uh, to the evolving demands of today's consumers. Right. Uh, thanks so much for that, Sesha. Uh, Avinash, Bata has always been a tough one, and it's been a tough one of late. Uh, what's your take on this one? I think uh, see, my sense is that once inflation starts uh, coming down, I think you're going to see a rebound in the footwear market. And I think uh, a lot of uh, downturn has already happened across the footwear sector. We've seen most of the footwear companies posting uh, tipped performances in terms of top line growth, in terms of margin kind of uh, you know erosion. So I think Bata has been facing not only competition, but definitely some demand compression. Uh, I think how the management now tackles uh, you know the youth uh, market by introducing some new products, by ensuring that its marketing is more uh, you know uh, aggressive. I think that is going to decide the next phase of growth for Bata. I think uh, from a uh, you know fundamental perspective, over the next say 12 to 15 months, if the company does its marketing right and you know hits out at the right target segment, then I think you could see numbers improving. And I think uh, probably the first quarter of this financial year, that is FY 24-25 would be a very uh, keen you know, season to watch. My sense is that they already have now transformed into a lifestyle brand, but how they focus on the youth segment is going to be important. So I think valuations apart, uh, the market would be looking right. at the kind of the company puts in. So it's a hold, but fresh buying is after we see the numbers uh, you know, when they come out. Okay.